So you're having trouble with your Xbox Series X console and maybe it shows something went wrong and some system errors so you can't get your Xbox console to boot up and all the troubleshooting went in vain, then manually updating your Xbox Series X using an external USB storage would probably fix your issue. So here's the simplest way to install offline update on your Xbox X, which will help you get back to gaming within minutes. To perform an offline system update on your Xbox Series X, You'll need to open a browser on any device that you have, such as a computer or a mobile, and you'll also need a USB pen drive with at least 8GB of storage capacity. In our case, we are using a Windows computer. Let's open a browser, and then we'll search for Xbox Offline Update. Now you'll need to select Perform an Offline System Update by Xbox Support, and as you can see here, it's supported by Series X. Now we'll scroll down a bit, expand Step 1, and as you can see here, your USB storage should be formatted to NTFS. Then we'll need to download the update file. To do that, tap on the OSU1 hyperlink. After that, the download will begin. While it's happening, let's insert the USB storage into our computer and move out any file that we have inside it. After that, we will right click on it and select Format. Now, if you see the file system is not NTFS, then we will select NTFS and reformat it. After the formatting is complete, let's check if our update file has finished downloading. And after it's downloaded, we will need to extract the zip file. Then open the OSU1 folder, and here you'll find a system update folder. You'll need to move this file inside your USB storage and make sure not to put it inside any other folder. After the copying is done, you can eject your USB storage and now it's ready to be inserted into our Xbox console. But before that, we'll need to boot up our Xbox console in Troubleshoot menu. To go to the troubleshooter, first we'll need to ensure that our Xbox console is shut down completely. You can simply unplug its power cord for half a minute and then plug the power cord back in. And after that, you'll need to hold down the eject and the pair button together. If you don't have the eject button, then only holding down the pair button will work. And while you're holding them down, short press the Xbox button and keep holding the other buttons until you hear the second stirrup sound. Now that we are in the troubleshoot menu, and as you can see here, the offline system update option is now grayed out and it can't be selected. So now's the time to insert our USB storage device into our console. Right after that, the offline system update tile will become active. So using the D-pad, we will select offline system update. And right after we select it, the updating process will begin. So wait patiently until it's done. And the required time will depend on your internet speed. And voila, your Xbox console is up and running once again. So just go ahead and install your games and jump right back to where you left. And if you found this helpful, let us know by dropping a like, subscribe and game on.